If you're planning to travel to a country where cannabis is legal and thinking of trying it, think twice. If you did not already know, you can be prosecuted here for taking drugs overseas, even if it's legal there. That is, if you're Singaporean or PR. Olympic champ Joseph Schooling and fellow national swimmer Amanda Lim made headlines recently after they admitted to taking cannabis while overseas. It didn't used to be illegal. In 1998, Parliament amended the Misuse of Drugs Act to make it illegal to take drugs overseas. The then Home Affairs Minister said that more Singaporeans were taking drugs overseas and that it was necessary to plug the loophole in the law. This was to prevent local addicts from going to nearby countries to abuse drugs. This isn't the only law that applies to Singaporeans overseas. Those who commit graft or engage in commercial sex with minors under 18 overseas can also be prosecuted in Singapore. The authorities can take hair samples from you to test for drugs. Traces of drugs can remain in your hair for months, but lawyers we spoke to say that such evidence in court is rare. Also, a positive hair test can be used against those who consume drugs locally, but it cannot be used to prosecute someone returning from overseas. Lawyers say that if you're young or a first-time offender, the authorities have the discretion not to charge you. Instead, you might be referred to the Drug Rehabilitation Centre or be put under a supervised urine test regime. Factors such as previous warnings given, drug history, a criminal record or compassionate grounds can also be considered. 